Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the evil within. <laughs> of course, it's not the evil within. I'm done with the evil within. There's only one video I need to do about the evil within, and that's it for that game. We are right now in Player Unknown Buttergrounds, a game that I wanted to bring content for for a good deal of time. I have this game for months now, and I've been playing. I've been having my winner winner chicken dinners and everything, and my skill is not that good, of course, but sometimes I get lucky and I win. And I really want to bring content about this game. But the big problem is, I don't want it to be one of those usual videos that you see on YouTube. The funny moments, or WTF, or the top moments, or Shroud, or Dr. Disrespect, all those things that are revolving around this game. No, I want to bring something a bit more serious, a bit more narrative driven, and have a little story. In each video I put about player and now buttergrounds. Sadly, it's proven to be a challenging feat for me, and as I think about it, more time passes. But nevertheless, at least I owe it to myself to bring a video about player and now buttergrounds. Let me let me get into a match. This is by the way a live recording video so it's me playing and talking at the same time i hope you guys do not mind my abysmal play because it's a bit too challenging to speak and play at the same time i'm not used to these things and i'm trying to get better oh this time i didn't get the new desert map okay at least this map i'm used to because as you guys know the game is out of the early access phase and they have a new map it's a desert map and i want to play it as much as possible but at the same time i have no idea what to do in that desert map i don't know what to do or where to go and everything so it would be a bit more challenging if i'm doing a video nevertheless let me mute this um yeah as it's uh, this video is going to be more of a continuation of yesterday's Destiny 2 video and why this is a more popular game than Destiny 2. Despite the amazing artwork and how solid Destiny 2 is as a game in general. Like if you try to compare this buggy mess which is player and now battlegrounds to Destiny 2 it would be a joke. Like the amount of server problems, the amount of bugs that you have in player and now buttergrounds <laughs> is incomparable to destiny 2 yet as the police siren passes by my house let me uh, stay silent for a sec there you go um still this game is more popular and you ask yourself why now i cannot talk about the other countries but let me continue talking about my own country and what makes us play the game more. I try to put myself into one of these houses because it's not somewhere that people go to and I'd like to not die if possible. Oh, there's one with me, cool. We'll, uh, we'll deal with him first and then we'll continue talking or he will deal with us and we'll continue talking anyway. So yeah. There we go. Go away, you idiot. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah. Continuing with the talk. There's another one? Really? Come on, guys. Oh, it was just me. No, I, I swear I can hear someone with me. No? Yes? I don't know, I'm confused. I have the voice, or oh, uh, the sound a bit lowered because uh, I need to hear myself talking not to make too many mistakes. But yeah, as I pick these things up, let's resume. Destiny 2 is a great game, but compared to PlayerUnknown Battlegrounds, the numbers 
are too much, too big. Uh, to be honest, I don't know exactly how many people are playing Destiny 2 compared to Player Unknown, but I do know that Player Unknown has more people than Destiny 2, and that's probably a fact. I will check that later. If I'm wrong, I'll correct myself in the editing. But nevertheless, like I said yesterday, for us to play Destiny 2, we need to factor in many, many other things, like is the game gonna have DLCs? Do I have the ability to purchase the game? How much the game costs? Is it a AAA? Does that mean it's gonna be $60? Plus DLC or Season Pass, that's gonna be probably $90, like Destiny 2 is uh, right now. Or even if I have $90, is that gonna be enough for the game? Or for me to enjoy the game and uh, you know, play it as much as possible. All those factor or factors. Oh, and uh, yes, can I or do I have someone to buy the game for me? Or some source that I can acquire the game from? All these things are factors for us to buy a game. Compared to other people in other developed countries, where well, you can just buy the game if you have the money and if you love the game, you just go and buy it whether it is a physical copy from some store or no this go away or a digital copy over on steam and uh, other platform for us those things are not easy those things require planning so yeah you see player and our battlegrounds it costs $30 you see destiny 2 it doesn't cost $30, it costs twice that much and you need to buy a season pass because there's already one DLC out that makes kind of the game the vanilla obsolete and you need, even after you have the, the game, like I said, even after you have the DLC pass, you need to focus on the season pass, you need to make the factor that there is going to be even more DLC coming that you wouldn't even need another season pass to buy that will cost either if it's a DLC it's going to be $20 or if it's a season pass it's probably going to be $40 I don't know but yeah you see how much money do we need to sink into the game now you say well how much does the game cost anyway in your country well let me give you kind of a point of view of how much does a dollar cost in our country so one dollar equals 190 in my money now this is like kind of a black market value because we cannot even the bank value is much more reasonable but we cannot go walk into a bank and ask them to exchange or to buy a game for us. No, it doesn't happen that way. It does not really happen that way. So we cannot exchange our money and we need, I don't know, special means in order to be able to play the game. So yeah, that's a field that we cannot go into. The easier thing to do is to go to a black market and you can easily exchange your money, but the price goes to the roof. Like I said, 190, and I'm certain the game is, uh, the, the, right now the value is going even more up because our country is going into a crisis and we are printing money. And when you print money in your country, the value of other currency will fly through the roof. One euro, for example, is 250 in our money. That's too much, way too much. So, to put that into a spotlight, if a young man is working in my country, he's probably going to be making between 1500, uh, 15,000 to 20,000 a month. Now, if he wants to buy Destiny, that's almost or even more than half his salary. That's almost the entirety of his salary. Is that? That's even, that's not possible 
for him to buy destiny, he will have to be living with his family still. So he has someone else that he can, you know, rely on for food. He will not buy clothes. He will not do anything for an entire month just to be play, able to play destiny. And then when the DLC comes, when the season pass comes, he will have to do the same thing. And if he is playing alone, or if he's living alone, it's impossible. If he has a family and kids, it's even more impossible. If he's old enough, he will be making double that pay, which is 30,000. That's the standard payment for most of us. And that's half of your salary. And you cannot live with half of your salary. It's not gonna be even enough for food for even half a month. So yeah, that makes Destiny 2 out of the question for so many of us just because of this whereas something for like player and our battlegrounds which is thirty dollars costs it's okay thirty dollars is all right you can put in thirty dollars and even player and our battlegrounds is a bit of a special case because you can put in thirty dollars and you can i see that car and you can get your money back if you get lucky and drop some good items that you can sell into the market you can get the value of your money back so yeah and steam is really really accessible in our country you can easily find someone who will pay the game for you and he will not rob you of your money so yeah in the long run as you can see a choice for me personally the choice of player and no battlegrounds versus Destiny 2, it's such an obvious choice. All I need is that amount of money and that's it. I unlock endless amounts of fun. Whenever update there is, whenever thing they will add to the game, it's going to be free for me and I will enjoy it. I will not have the anxiety of buying a DLC every two seconds for Destiny, for example. So that's a huge problem. I mean, I know that the numbers of my country, the number of people who would play your game is not going to be significant compared to other countries, but still, we are people and we will put enough money to have a significance. And one of the solutions that I ask, one of the things that I always ask is not to put uh, it's not, you know, to reduce the the game for us or something or to put a special price. Not really. All I want for now is to have an official point or an official partner in one of the gaming stores that we have here, local gaming stores, where I can just simply walk in, buy the game, full price, and I mean in dollar or euro, and that's it. If there is a reduction, no problem. There's going to be a reduction here too. So, hmm, this car or... You know what? Uh, screw this car. So if there's going to be a reduction or a special, you know, offer, I will be profiting for it. These things does not happen in my country. You can see them, but you will never get access to them. So all I want for now, just for now, is the ability to just walk into a store and buy either the physical or the digital copy of the game and just acquire code. That would be amazing. That would be a huge step. It will not be an undermine for the companies or you will not be losing money. On the contrary, you will be gaining money. So that's one thing. But hopefully in the future we'll have official companies in my country that will have a reasonable price for the games well maybe we'll be having the ability to purchase stuff online we don't have that yet and yeah so yeah but yeah the amount of yeah so yeah by i said like seven thousand times sorry um the factor of playing that game versus the other is obvious you know what i'm going to purchase just based off the things that i said it's obvious, I'm not going to look back into it. And what I'm seeing right now is $90 for Destiny is even more expensive compared to the content. 
that they are giving me. Who is he? Where is he? Hmm. There you go. Did he decide not to shoot me? Really? I hear you. Kinda hear him. He's over there somewhere. But I do not see him. Hmm. Oh, that's a bit weird. But never mind, it's PUBG, like I said. I'm blind in PUBG, and I'm not focused enough to see who's shooting me. So let's just uh, keep on walking, and keep on talking. Because that's the main subject of the game. Now, with all of that said, with all of that said, I had such a small solution for our current crisis, which is have official points for official games and then later on we can discuss about the possibility of you know lowering the price of the games but yeah even if the game is amazing we cannot get access to it and i think that will also benefit you guys in the other countries that will be able to purchase the game from a lower price because if there is this huge amount of people who will buy the game i think they can lower the price a bit to accommodate both you and the company which will make in the profits that they want to make. It's just me thinking out loud, basically. I know things are more complicated than this. And that's the like that's the uh, reason why you don't see many people from my country playing such luxurious games, really. But yeah, if all games follow the example of Overwatch or PUBG, many of us will be playing and buying these games. But that's just me rambling. That's just me talking. So that's enough of uh, my <laughs> daily rambling of the prices and the current games and stuff. Destiny, I will have a separate video for Destiny later as I finish playing the game, as I get access to the content. I hope it's going to be more structured rather than just me freestyling stuff right now. Let's talk a bit about Player No Battlegrounds. What makes it a good game? What makes it a fun game? Uh, this is kind of related to Destiny and stuff and the amount of activity you be you are doing in destiny and stuff and the amount of things and everything people or developers sometimes forget that you don't need much in your games for them to be endless fun sometimes and doom for example doom 2016 or wolfenstein these are games that kind of emphasize on this and the fact that sometimes you just need a simple video game just run and gun shoot shut off your brain and just do just shoot at another just play a video game so many companies are focused on making i see him Yeah, then we'll, uh, we'll continue after the... Uh... Ow! Oh, that hurts. Of course I died. I did not have the advantage there. He had the cover and everything. So yeah. As you can see, I died. Bugger. Um, so what do I do? Get back and play instantly. Press exit lobby. Okay. And instantly get back into the game. Many games 
in modern days require you so much. They require you to do so much things in order to play. You have to level up, you have to buy items, you have to know this game, to, to, to have mechanics. Games like Dota 2, League of Legends, they require so much time compared to games that Blizzard are currently making at the exception of oh the new map at the exception of world of warcraft much most of the games of blizzard does not take you too much time to play or diablo blizzard uh, warcraft or diablo these are two exceptions but yeah something like overwatch you can have i don't know four five competitive games i'm talking about competitive in one two hours compared to one normal games in League of Legends or Dota 2. Now that's a huge thing. That's one of the aspects why Player Unknown, for example, is or Overwatch are popular. It's because it's instant fun and it's easy to see and easy to read. I'm a new guy, I've seen the Player Unknown Battlegrounds on Twitch, and I understood what's going on. I didn't need a book with 400 pages to explain to me how to last hit or how, when to buy this item or magic resist or physical resist. All I needed to know is that am I good at FPS games or not? And what I need to do is there is 100 people on this island. I need to kill whoever I see and survive to be the last one. I died a second ago and I started the game instantly. All I need to do now is parachute myself into whatever location and try to survive even if i die again i can replay it it's fun it's not tiring and that's what most people want especially older generation of people people who have responsibilities people who have a job have kids you no longer have the time to put into these classic games that we grew up playing all you have is an hour to maybe three and that's it. You'll sleep and you go to work and all those things that you do generally. So when you have games like Overwatch, like Player Unknown, of course they will go popular. Despite the constant problems that Player Unknown is having, it's endless fun. It's immediate and endless fun. That's the biggest factor in why this game is popular. I see some other videos of people who do not like the game and they are right. When they try to talk about the game, they talk about the design, uh, you know, the bugs, the server problems and all those things and why they are not going to play this game and everything. And it's understandable. It's really understandable. But what you do need to factor in is that some people or many people are casuals, me included, and we do not have the time to put into these games anymore. And trust me, I used to be a worshipper of League of Legends, basically. I used to put in, in 2009, 2010, even 2011, I used to put in almost 13 hours a day playing League of Legends. I was addicted to it, and back then I had the time. I was studying, I had, I wasn't, I wasn't working, I didn't have responsibilities, and I could put that much time into the game. Nowadays, not really. I tried playing the competitive of League of Legends because, after all, when I started this YouTube channel, I thought, well, this is going to be what I'm going to do. I will be doing, you know, uh, guides and video stuff oh this is one okay i was confused by the numbers uh videos that revolve around, revolve around league of legends and you know what i can't really no i cannot it's not a thing that i can do nowadays and i think companies like um oh this is a car well yes it is Companies like Blizzard understand this concept and uh, they are trying to orient their games towards small time and more fun that will attract more people to it. 
and I like it. To be honest, I'd rather play competitive Overwatch. Four or five games of competitive Overwatch and look into the watch and it's not like five hours in. Then play stuff like League of Legends competitive where I will be frustrated for an hour or sometimes more than an hour and then that's it. That's all I need to do and uh, you need to start again, you need to level up again, you need to not die and you need to have a team that is not raging their minds off. And all those, all those classic things that we grew up <laughs> with. So yeah, that's why this game is popular. It's easy. And it's fun. Now, like I said before, I can talk about the game like this and make videos like this compared or uh, to talk about player and our battlegrounds i can even put normal stuff classic videos you know of playing the game and uh, talking over it uh, or i'm going to that house i'm gonna be looting the house and everything there's someone there it's like kind of a let's play but in a multiplayer kind of game but you know what I really wanted something narrative driven. I wanted to create many scenarios for each video I put about play and no grass. A setting. And I had some thoughts in mind. But my current experience, why am I running? I had a car for <laughs> crying out loud. I had a car and I'm running without my car. And then there's the plane over there that I need to get to or I should be getting to. Ah, I cannot focus enough. But yeah, I really wanted to do something a bit different. Something more exciting, at least for me. But like I said, current experience level with editing software, with many things in general are not up to par. I can do something, probably, but it's not going to be good enough. So yeah, for the time being, uh, this is all I want to ramble about. This is all I want to talk about. So, well, basically we'll focus on the game right now and see what I am doing. Of course, I'm getting into the house. It's going to be like a uh, tutorial or test, a test drive to see if I can uh, make a normal video at least. Ow, 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 never mind. What do you know? Someone just decided to stop me right here. Okay, so let's watch the death come. Of course, I, I, I said it's going to be a video compared to... Okay, here is the car. Classic, classic. He sees the car. Runs in. Uh, getting... Oh yes, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, open area, all those things. Usually I do consider these things in mind, but you know what, I'm not focused on the game, and I died. And as I die, I exit, and I can replay. I can do this infinitely. I'm not tired, and I don't know, only five minutes have been into that whole match. Oh, nothing too major. I died, I can replay again. I can look at the time. It's not a major, a major time I put into the game, so it's not fatigue, and it's amazing. It's simple fun. But yeah, that was just me freestyling and rambling about stuff in general. Uh, I hope you are enjoying my time here, or enjoying me being with you here. I hope to see you in the next video, ladies and gentlemen, where I... I think I want to do a more in-depth video about playing on our battlegrounds. Talk about the game, options, controls, uh, you know, from the start to the end of the game, and general tactics that some of you require in order to play the game. As I said, it's not that complicated of the game, and yet it requires some sort of skill and awareness. But yeah, until then. I hope you're having a great day and see you when I see you.